Well, the most common cause of death and illness, as well as costs worldwide, are cardiovascular diseases, much more than cancer. The lifetime risk of a person developing cancer is 22%, and it's 50% uh, for males of developing symptoms of either heart attack uh, or other types of cardiovascular illnesses, and it's about a third of all females will develop that disease. So a female has much greater chances of developing a heart attack than they do of breast cancer. Now, when a patient comes or a person has a heart attack and comes to the hospital and we take life-saving measures to open up the artery, unblock it, for example, with a stent, also called angioplasty, or even surgery, we know that that person has had disease in their arteries with subsequent hardening and developing of plaques over decades. It actually, it's an inflammatory process that starts in the second decade of life. That is, it is a pediatric disease. And the exciting test that we have available here at Holy Cross is to be able to do a very highly specialized CAT scan and pictures of the heart, which are acquired in a short breath hold that takes less than 10 seconds, which can do 3D imaging of the heart and the vessels and give a very detailed picture whether a person has or does not have coronary artery disease or other cardiac diseases. Holy Cross has this type of specialized technology which is called a 256 slice that can acquire uh, the entire study within as little as two heartbeats. It requires uh, experienced technologists, doctors that can interpret it, and 3D, highly sophisticated computers that can do the post-processing of the images for the subsequent interpretation. Why do this test instead of doing a, a stress test? The stress test actually looks for later stages of disease where there is blockage and there's decreased oxygen in the muscle of the heart. This test can detect disease years before it's detectable with other stress tests. It's also 90% less radiation than current stress testing using uh, radioisotopes that are given through the blood. If half of all males are going to develop symptomatic heart disease, it behooves to be screened and that is based on family histories, uh, the laboratory information, and lifestyle. And the value of doing the cardiac CT is that it is very accurate in demonstrating whether a person has or does not have plaque and can take active measures to actually prevent a heart attack. And the medicines do work. The statins that are available decrease uh, incidence of heart attacks by as much as 50%. Uh, and adding to that uh, a better diet, uh, exercise. Another important point to mention is that uh, women typically don't have the symptoms as males. So the, the presentation of heart disease can be quite obscured or difficult to detect uh, because they have smaller vessels, the type of symptoms and the way the heart receives of blood flow is different than males. So it's much more dangerous uh, when females become symptomatic or develop a heart attack. As a matter of fact, the survivability of females is significantly less than in males. Thus, the importance to be screened uh, with laboratory, a physical exam, and a test such as the cardiac CT. Another area which is very important is patients that present to the emergency room with chest pain. Up to now, patients were kept in the hospital for 23 hours where they did serial laboratory EKG findings and clinical symptoms. With this test in patients that are not having an active heart attack, where the findings are questionable, we can do very rapidly a cardiac CT and the patients can be discharged quickly and safely from the emergency room. Or it tells the cardiologist precisely what the problem is, the severity of the problem, and what he needs to do and how quickly he needs to do it.